are two different package formats available in Timer Pro. The first one we see here where every item is grouped here. You can see if I show all the detail here, you can see all of my detail items here and they are actually rolled up into a smaller number of groupings here. Now when I produce a work instruction from this, you can see that down here we go to package and say current Excel version. You'll see that what we get is we get a cover sheet for the mold parts, which is the name of the operation. We get a summary that shows you each of the different groupings in that particular operation. And then we get a separate sheet for each of the individual groupings. So here's a cover sheet with the part production, setup, cleanup, oven process. And down here you can see we have the part production, setup, cleanup, and oven process. So in this particular type of uh, package that we call a grouped package, every activity in the task must be associated with a particular group so that it can be put into each of the individual uh, grouping sheets that you see here. The second format we have, you can see that we've only got certain items grouped. These would typically be options here. You can see a little option icon you see here. So most of the uh, work content is left on its own. This is what we call the base. And then we get various options that can be applied to the base. In this case, sand floor and paint floor. Now, if we look at the uh, work instruction for this, same again, package, current Excel version here. We have the task, just like before, in this case, pre prepare floor. And then we have the cover sheet that shows you the base, the base with the sand floor, the base with the paint floor, and then all this includes the base plus the sand floor and the paint floor. And then we get a separate sheet for each. So here's the base, and here's the base with sand floor, here's base with paint floor, and then if we go out one more, we'll see the all sheet here. Right, this with garbage in here to show how it works. So those are the two different uh, types of work instructions that you have available to you within Timer Pro. It's up to you to decide which one you want to use, or you can use both of them in different uh, circumstances as required here. We're showing them with the same header information, but of course you can customize the header information any way that you want here. There's another key difference in the formats here that you should be aware of. In the grouped item where every activity must belong to a group, each of the items is in its unique group sheet here. And you'll notice out on the right hand side we have a TP dash changed. There's a revision history being maintained here because each item can only occur in one of the pages here. That revision history is not available if you decide to go with the uh, base plus options uh, variation. Why? Because the same activity would be in every single one of these. If it was part of the base, it would be in every single one. So it becomes impossible to create the, uh, the change history for you automatically here. So just be aware that if you do grouped all activities, you will get a change history that keeps track of where you move things. If you do not do that, you do the base plus options, you should plan on adding an additional sheet here where you can manually put in the information that documents what you actually change between each of the revisions.